Guess what? I'm going to show you two low-calorie, high-protein meals I'm making for easy weight loss using a rotisserie chicken. And meals like this help me lose 130 pounds and keep it off for nine years. And guess what I'm making? I'm going to be making cheesy chicken stuffed potatoes with veg and dip on the side and mini bacon ranch. Mini mini chicken bacon ranch pizzas with tiny wedges so we're starting with the stuffed potatoes and this is what you're gonna need cutie we need a rotisserie chicken this one is from costco two medium russet potatoes that have been rinsed and dried we need some cottage cheese one percent a heaping quarter cup two tablespoons of light cream cheese, two tablespoons of fat-free sour cream, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, 60 grams of cheese. This is the marble one, just using like a regular one from Costco. I've divided it 30 grams, 30 grams. And then for the veg and dip, we're gonna be using tzatziki. This is the Skodadakis one that we get from Costco. It's our favorite. And then we need some veggies. We're gonna be using cucumber and baby carrots. The first thing we're gonna be doing is I've got my potatoes. We're gonna get these in the microwave. I like making quick and easy meals. So instead of baking these in the oven, I'm gonna put them in the microwave. So I'm just going to pierce holes in the potatoes all over using a fork. And then I'm gonna microwave them on a microwave safe plate for 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm gonna turn them halfway. Okay, while those are microwaving, I'm going to show you how I like shred my chicken. So let's get this out of the cute bag. Come on, honey. Now we bought this one going groceries, so it's been in the fridge because we went groceries yesterday. So I'm just gonna wipe off the little jelly off its bean, clean it up, clean up your bean. There we go. And now I'm gonna cut the rope. Ugh. Okay, and this is the best way I found to shred the chicken like the quickest. So I turn it like this and I put my fingers in the hole. <laughs> and then, um, oh, this one's already kind of funky, but usually the back would come right off, but this one's a little funny, but I pull like that and then it makes it easier for me to get all the meat off the bone. So I'm just going to be peeling the skin off and then shredding the chicken and I'm gonna get 85 grams. And I'm making two servings of this, one for me and one for Kyle. So, you know, you can like double or triple the ingredients depending how many you wanna make. It's gonna be delicioso. So we're gonna get all the chicken in and then I'll show you um, what 85 grams looks like. Okay, potatoes are ready. They were 13 minutes in the microwave and I flipped them halfway through. Then this is the 85 grams of chicken and I cut it up really small with meat scissors so that it'll spread evenly. And this is the remainder of that chicken. You get like a ton and I'm gonna put that aside for the next recipe. So now I have the preheater. I have the air fryer preheating at 390 degrees and I've set it for five minutes. Um, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut these potatoes in half lengthwise. So just like that. And that'll add over there. Let it cool for a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna let those cool now for a few minutes before we scoop out the insides. And while that cools, I'm gonna make the mixture for the stuffing of the potatoes. So I'm gonna put the chicken in here, and then we're gonna get the creamy cheesy. Yes, I could use more methods, but fingies are good. And get all the creamy cheesy. Come on, honey. And then the cottage cheese. <laughs> uh, My uh, life motto is once your finger's dirty, keep going. Keep going, bud. Keep going. Why not? So we bring paper towels over here. <laughs> 
Okay, and then I'm gonna do half the cheese and I'm gonna save the other half for topping them. Then I'm gonna throw in the pepper and the salt. Clean handy. And we're gonna stir this together like that. And we're gonna combine this really, really well. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so now that that's combined, I'm gonna grab the potato and then mix all the potato in there as well. And we're gonna scoop the potato into that bowl as well. So there we go. And so basically you just wanna scoop these out until you leave a thin shell and just be careful not to rip the potato skin so that you can stuff it back up with the filling. So I'm gonna do all of these and then mix it together with the rest of the filling. Okay, so now I'm just gonna blend the potato in with a fork, mash it all together until it's really well combined and then I'm gonna stuff it into the potatoes. And while I'm mixing this, in order for me to be successful on my weight loss journey, I needed my meals to be super tasty and quick and easy to prep. Because if I don't like what I'm eating or it's too complicated or it takes too long to prep, I'm not gonna stick to it. I also need my meals to be cheap because I'm on a budget. So that's why I love making meals with rotisserie chicken. It's like super versatile. It's got pretty decent protein in um, per serving. And if you, it's already seasoned and cooked. And if you measure it out according to the serving size, which is 100 grams like per serving, you can get a lot out of it like you see. Um, I also love low-cal, high-protein meals because I have a massive appetite. Also, my body gains weight really easy. So the protein in my meals helps me keep fuller longer because protein helps lower your hunger hormone called ghrelin. And then the low-cals help me stay in a calorie deficit so that I can meet all my goals. And that's why meals like this are really important for me and have helped me get and keep the weight off. And the same with Sassy. He's lost the same amount of weight and kept it off for the same amount of time because we eat stuff we like that's quick and easy, cheap, high protein, low cow. So this is now looking beautiful. Let's take these lovely tatie shells and fill. So we're just going to divide the still the stuffing here the filling between the potato shells until it's all done and I'm gonna try to do it evenly so everything gets a lovely portion and then we'll top it with the leftover cheese that we have oh look it sass you married me for one reason because I'm good at cooking you have dirty fingers <laughs> you're not afraid to get your fingers dirty no you're not maybe I should uh not yet though. Okay, I'll save it for later. Okay, now we're gonna do the cheese roux. So we're gonna do a lovely sprinkle on each tady. And then I'm gonna put them in the air fryer to let everything melt and let the potatoes heat through for five minutes. All right, so carefully place these cute little meatas in here. There we go, and away they go. All right, that is what they look like. They are done, and they look beautiful, guys. This is oh, your dinner. Yeah. This is our dinner to lose the weight. Can you believe it? That's better than restaurant quality. Look at these super tasty freaking weight loss meals. What the heck? This is beautiful. Okay, so I've got half a cup of cucumber spears chopped up here, three ounces of baby carrots, and I'm going to measure out two tablespoons of tzatziki for the dip and um, get my fingers dirty in the process. Okay, so I'm going to put one serving which is two halves of the potatoes. Look at that serving size. I know, isn't that crazy? Like, so this is the entire meal here. All the veg and dip, plus the stuffed potatoes with the chicken and everything in it. <laughs> we gotta take a pic for thumbnail action. Okay, so for this entire meal, 
It's 517 calories, 19 grams of fat, 55 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein. And look how much food you get. And this is gonna keep me really full and satisfied, and that's super important. And the friends, if you are looking for a ton of low calorie, high protein recipes that are super tasty, you can buy my guilt-free cookbook. Got a bunch of them in there. Guess what's in there? A low cal Big Mac, pizza, protein ice cream, cupcakes, cheesecake, and a ton more. Code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below. So check that out, sweetheart. I also got this. I got the hoodled. This is HTLT subs. Best tasting protein powder ever. They also have a ton of other really great sups. And you want to be beefing up your protein intake. So like put this in your oatmeal, your, your yogurt, your whatever you like. Yes. Like we used this yesterday in our protein ice cream, which we have a short that shows exactly how we make that. And it is so tasty. This is the strawberry cheesecake one. Protein, again, it helps you feel fuller longer because it lowers your ghrelin. So it's really important for Kyle and I to get in enough protein every day. Code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below for this too. So now we're gonna move on to the mini chicken bacon ranch pizzas with tiny wedges. See ya, I'll see ya now. Flash of the other thing. Oh wait, I gotta try this. I gotta, I gotta try this, what the heck? I almost forgot to taste it. That's funny. Some cheese. It smells Get some cheese. Get some tasty. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's so cheesy. And you can taste the chicken, the tasty. That is amazing. You're gonna love this sauce. Oh. Ah. Oh. Guys, it's so good. I can't wait to eat the rest of this. <sighs> you gotta make, like seriously, you gotta make these. I'll kind of help others. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's time, cutie, to make the mini chicken bacon ranch pizzas with the tiny wedges. So this is what you're gonna need for the pizzas. Two whole wheat English muffins that have been sliced in half and we're using the Dempster's whole wheat. One slice of turkey bacon that has been cooked and chopped into little pieces. And this is my absolute favorite turkey bacon. It's the Butterball Applewood Smoke turkey bacon and we get that at Walmart. We need a tablespoon of light ranch dressing and this is from Walmart. Four tablespoons of pasta sauce. We use pasta over pizza because it's cheaper. And this is the one that we get from Costco. We need two tablespoons of diced tomato, a tablespoon of diced green onion, 60 grams of that rotisserie chicken that has been chopped into small pieces, and then 60 grams of cheese. And we're using the marble regular cheese from Costco. Then for the tatey wedges, we need two medium russet potatoes that have been rinsed and dried, half a teaspoon of oil, I'm using canola, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and then for serving, 10 calories of no sugar added ketchup, like for dipping. This one, it's two tablespoons for 10 cals. If you get the Heinz, it's one tablespoon for 10 cows. So we're using this one today. And then we're gonna be having some cucumbers and tzatziki, so I've got that for the side as well. I'm gonna start with the tatey wedges. I have the air fryer preheating at 400 degrees, and we're gonna get the tatey wedges chopped into wedges. So I have a large bowl here with cold water because as I chop these into wedges, I'm gonna let them soak to rinse off the excess starch. So I'm just gonna chop this into wedges however, you know, it works out. Do a little choppage. Oh yeah. We'll whistle while we work. But I can't whistle. Can you whistle? 
I can. There you go. You don't make noise when you whistle. You just blow the air out of your But does it how does the whistle come? Because you make your lips tight in a circle and it whistles. Try it. There, just blow the air. Yeah. You got it. I did it! Back to the wedges. Oh, okay, we got some wedges here. That looks cute. We'll get those in the water. And then we'll get the other one going. And again, um, everything is for two servings here because I'm making one serving for Sass and one serving for myself. And you can, you know, double or triple depending on how many uh, servings you want to make. There we go. I think those look like sweet little wedges, don't they? I'll just let these rinse a bit. And I'm going to dry them. We're going to dry them up really well. And then I'm going to toss them into a bowl with the oil and the seasonings. Okay, they're dried and in this bowl. I have coated them with cooking spray just to make sure that they don't stick. And now I'm going to put in the canola oil, the salt, and the pepper. And I'm going to mix this really well with my hands because we all learned I like getting my fingies dirty. Oopsie. Then once they're seasoned up, I'm going to toss them in the air fryer. Um, I'm going to do 400 for 15 minutes and check them halfway. And I'll let you know total cooking time when I'm finished. That looks pretty lovely. Okay, I'm just going to put them in in a single layer. And then let them cook up nice and sweet. While the potato wedges are cooking, I'm going to make up the pizzas so that they can go in the air fryer when they're done. So we're going to do one tablespoon of sauce for each pizza and then spread it around so that it's lovely and cute. There we are. And then just spread it all out so it's beautiful. Now I'm going to do the chicken. Where did the chicken go? So I'm just going to divide the chicken between the four pizzas. <laughs> For anyone wondering, she is like this off camera too. So. Yep. Yesterday I was surfing with a fake surfboard after we did cardio. Yeah, hey, you gotta follow us on Instagram because you'll miss this kind of stuff. Nicole I, surfing. Yeah, Liz, I even said, handed the phone to Sathy and I said, Sathy, can you film me doing something? And then in the next clip we were surfing like I was surfing and we put surf music over top. It was really cool. <laughs> It's, you just don't want to miss it. <laughs> He's shaking his head behind the camera. Okay, so now that I've got the chicken divided, I'm going to put the cheese, and I'm just going to divide it again between the four pizzas. Like that. Yeah, you do have to follow us at the Colettes on Instagram because um, I'm an interesting soul. Instagram can shadow ban us all they want. Nicole's surfing will break the algorithm. Oh yeah, we've been shadow banned for years on there. <laughs> it's okay. I'm still cute. <laughs> Look how sweet this is. Don't you like this? This is real cute. <laughs> I am like this. Okay, with the honey. Getting a nice amount of toppings on there. I know, this is so cute. Now, let's do, we'll put the bacon here so we can get our fingies in it. And we're going to divide the bacon. The bacon between the four pizzas. And this is already cooked turkey bacon, right? Yes, um, and I said in the beginning, yeah, cooked and chopped into little pieces. And it doesn't take long. No. Now we're going to do the tomato and the onion. And again, I'm just going to divide all the toppings between the four. And we've been doing and English muffin pizzas from the very beginning in yes. different forms. Yeah, because we really like, we found whenever we gave up our favorite foods, we just failed. So we started making low calorie versions of our favorite foods. And that is what really helped us stick to it. And obviously we make like the real thing too every once in a while, but the low cal version is really like, has really saved our lives and helped us stay on track. Um, so there, this is looking kind of cute, isn't it? Beautiful. And then I'm gonna bake, well air fry these and then put the ranch, drizzle it over top. So yeah. we're gonna reserve the ranchy. Okay, so these are ready to go. 
and I'm just gonna wait for the potato wedges to be done and then I'm going to preheat the air fryer to 390 degrees and cook these in the air fryer for five minutes all right so the pizzas are done 390 degrees in the air fryer um, for five minutes and we will put the ranch on in a minute. Oh, they the, smell amazing. They do smell really good. The potato wedges are done. They were 400 degrees in the air fryer for 15 minutes. I've divided them into two servings. Sassy's on the non-thumbnail plate. <laughs> and this, mine's on the thumbnail plate. I have half a cup of cucumber spears with a tablespoon of tzatziki to go on the side. It's the same one we used in the other meal. And now I'm going to take a tablespoon of this light ranch dressing and drizzle it over the tops of the four pizzas. Um, so we'll just like wing it, you know, just kind of do a little hoo hoo. Yeah, like that? Yeah. I think that's kind of cute for thumbnails. Yeah. Uh huh. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Oh yeah, nailing it, nailing it. Beautiful. I think maybe this one needs a little, little more ranch action. A little more ranch action. You love pizza and fries like us. You're not gonna be missing out eating this meal. The only thing you're gonna be missing is cows. Yeah, like this is why we can do this because our food looks and smells super good and it tastes super good this is the whole reason why we've been able to get the weight off and keep it off because we don't treat weight loss like a punishment we love what we eat and if you're not excited about what you eat you're not going to be able to stick to it and we are and that's why we have been able to look at this beauty so let's do this little sweetness put what do you think, Seth or any? A little, do something like this, maybe. Put a little cucumbers. Put these here. That looks cute. Yep, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Wow! <laughs> okay, the friends, so for all of this, the pizza, the cukes and dip, the fries, and the ketchup, 558 calories. No, that's volume. For pizza and potato wedges? Are you kidding me? Yeah, plus veg. Um, 19 grams of fat, 67 grams of carbs, and 28 grams of protein. Isn't that crazy? That's great. That And this is like, you can serve like anyone this, your family, your friends, and they're not gonna know that it's like diet food, low cow food. And that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sassy and I learned in order for us to stay on track and get and keep the weight off as long as we have, we need our food to be super tasty. We also need it to be low cal, high protein because the protein helps us feel full and the low cals help us stay in a calorie deficit so that we can keep meeting our goals, whatever those may be, you know, weight loss, maintaining wherever we are in the moment. Um, and it's really important that we love our food because if you're not excited, the friends, you have to be excited. You gotta jump out of bed every morning and you gotta go, what? I get pizza and wedges today? Woo! You have to love it. If you don't, you're not gonna stick to it. Don't forget to watch this vid and this vid because there's more fun, sustainable weight loss tips in those vids because what are Sassy and I? Real friends losing weight in the real world where we don't want to give up pizza and potato wedges. So we find a way, we find a way to build it in. Oh yeah. Love you. Thanks so much for your support. I will catch you in the next big cute roll. Peace it, peace it, peace it, peace it, peace it. Better have a bite, bite. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Whoa, uh oh. Sorry, I tapped in my mouth. Though. That was Flavor Town. Oh my god. Sassy, you're gonna love this. Let's dip one of these in here. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. That's what my belly and my mouth is doing. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna eat this now. Yeah! See ya. Bye.
Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it.